Hi, this is Alexandra at Vita Halik, here to show you how to make the Blue Lagoon necklace featuring Zola elements. So here I've got a Zola pendant that I'm going to put onto one of these beautiful chains. And we have some delicate brass bead chain here. I want to point out all the pretty colors. We've got some French Riviera, Coral Matte, Seashell Crystal, Spice Mix, Beach Glass Mix, Jet Crystal, and for this project, we'll be using the antiqued crystal. So let me pull in that spool here. I'm also gonna take in my ruler and get my measurements. This pendant measures about one inch across. So if I wanna make a 16 inch necklace, what I'll do is line my ch chain up like so and figure out how much of that I'm gonna need. I'm gonna bring it up to about Oh, seven and three quarters inch. And when I cut this chain, I want to take off one extra link, keeping in mind I'll be losing a little bit of length. So with my flush cutters, I'm just gonna clip the chain very carefully. It's such a delicate, delicate link. So there I've got one end. And now let me Pull in the other side. This is a quick and easy project. Um, you only need flat pliers, round pliers, and flush cutters to do this. So here I've got my other rondelle that I see I'm going to clip. These little beads measure two millimeters by three millimeters. And they're beautiful, shiny, faceted glass. I'm going to turn my flush cutter the other direction just to be sure I don't clip an unwanted link. Okay, there we go. So now I'll bring in my four millimeter jump ring. Open that off to the side. I'm going to slide on end link of my chain. And I'm also going to slide on this loop on my pendant. And with my other plier, just close that jump ring. I'll do the same thing on the other side. As I was designing, I realized that this pendant could really go nicely with any number of these chains. I was tempted to use that beautiful spice mix. But to stay with the name of Blue Lagoon, which is this pendant, I decided to use this beautiful, shimmery, watery, antique crystal color. I'll close up that jump ring nice and tight. You want to make sure you're getting your seams really close because of how delicate that brass link is that's holding it on there. So that looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to come over to the opposite side, get another jump ring, and pick up my 9mm lobster claw, go through the back loop of that, and now I'm noticing here the link that needs to be cleared out a little bit. So let me take my plier and just slip this extra piece of wire off there, clear the way from my jump ring. And I need to open that jump ring. So let me take, find the seam and get that off to the side there, open it up. And now I'm ready to, whoops, slide on my link if it'll let me. There we go. All right, with my other plier, I'm just going to close that up. This will be the side that my clasp hooks onto. Get that nice and tight. And now come back to the clasp side as I was doing and get that latched on as well. There we go. So you can see this project, all it involves is flipping some chain and opening and closing some jump rings. And you've got just a beautiful finished necklace there. All of these beads and supplies are available at beadaholic.com. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.